I'm Robito, the traveling hypnotherapist, and I travel to help people heal with hypnosis. And this is Eugenia. Uh, Eugenia, would you like to introduce yourself for the people that are watching that might be interested in trying hypnosis? Uh, my name is Eugenia. Evgenia, it depends, you know, who is pronouncing my name anyway. So I was born in Ukraine and for the last past 10 years I live in Germany. So and I went to Porto to celebrate a New Year Eve where I met Roberto. <laughs> exactly. And we did a session on the 2nd of January. Yes. And that was a week ago now. Um, it was shortly before you left Portugal, yes, it right? was just a couple hours before I left, yes. It was very spontaneous for me. Anyway. <laughs> uh, and um, so I guess my first question then, the, I'm thinking about the people that might be, tr what, might be interested in trying uh, hypnosis, is um, how do you feel now, one week later, after doing the session? Has it helped you? Do you feel like it's been a, a lasting change? Well, how can I describe it? Uh, you know, I wouldn't say that my life changed dramatically, you know, and is upside down. It's no, but what I feel that I feel more secure. I feel more secure. I don't have any more like these worries that were chasing me for a long time. And these chase, like these chases, uh, these worries, they were like very obsessive to me. So I, could wake up, you know, and have these worries. I like put myself under the pressure and I was living with it, you know, but however, since a week ago, I feel much more easy, you know, I feel That's easier true. and lighter and people, I don't have many people that surround me at the, this exact moment, but those that like my family members, they say that like, are you okay? <laughs> like what happened with you? Like you don't, you're not like they, they notice this tiny difference, you know, inside of me. So, and I'm quite happy about this. <laughs> that sounds really fantastic. Wow. Excellent. When we did the session, um, well, first of all, how would you describe what it's like to be in hypnosis to somebody that's not been in hypnosis before? Well, um, I was just yesterday talking with my sister about this and, you know, I realized that was like, it was something massive for me, something, something that I never had in my life before, you know, like this kind of feeling. And as the girl before uh, this, the video I watched before, you know, like she um, described it exactly very, very correct. You know, it's like you are in dream, but you're awake in a dream something mm. like this you know mm. i mean this feeling i never had before in my life so i don't even have anything to compare it to it you know it's just <laughs> i don't know <laughs> just like lack of words to describe it you know and also i i read about hypnosis i've heard a lot about it but uh and i guess for the mm, many people it's kind of you know more like they're with the closed eyes, you know, and they're following what the hypnot uh, what the hyp hypnotherapists say, and it's kind of in a very calm way. But for me, I felt I felt something massive, something 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 huge, you know, and like my body was dis, dis uh, like it, like it was dissolved, you know, and like energy was going throughout me. It's not like I was exactly in a dream, but something like something huge and very energetic was like coming through my body from my from my legs uh, up to my head like and it was like in a wavy way you know something mm. like this I don't know it was like more I don't know maybe for, <laughs> for me it was more like exorcistic uh, experience <laughs> rather than hypnotherapy you know yeah well I mean when when you go into that deep hypnotic state <laughs> then we get deep into the subconscious. Okay, so then we can release any, any stored emotions um, that, that, have, that have collected there over time, many, often from, from many, many, many years ago. So I don't know how much you wanna talk about the, um, when we did the emotional cleaning or I'll let you describe how it was, but 
one thing that I'll say, when we did the emotional cleaning for you, some people, they experience um, different emotions, different images, different experiences that are just kind of coming up one at a time. Um, and when I'm doing the session, I'll say, you know, let them come out one at mm -hmm. a time, pop, pop, pop out of the top no, of your head, out of your body. For you, it was different, mm -hmm. right? It was one mm -hmm. big thing that came out. Yeah, Yeah, um, because I even like you told me like one thing, something that irrit like something irritating, disappointing, bad experience. No, because I just when I was there in that state, I couldn't even differentiate between one emotion and a second emotion and a third emotion. There is no um, like consequence of them, like one depending on another because of this situation, I'm disappointed in this situation, or I'm frustrated, this situation, I'm irritated. No, it was just like, you know, something huge and big, and it was like mixed together like a big ball, you know, and that's why I, like when you told me try to, to get rid of it, like pop, 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 I just couldn't, I, I like, I just couldn't even understand how, because it was itself, it was going just like one huge stream, you know, like going, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, something like this. I don't know if, uh, if I describe it <laughs> uh, understandably for other people or no, I like, don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. I mean, without going into details, you had, there was one image of one thing that the whole negative whatever it was that was stored the whole thing was just coming up and coming out through the body right so it was like a whole yeah a whole shebang we'd say in english like yeah and everything yeah yeah and it's just like at the beginning it stuck like here you know inside of my chest and then it was popping to the my to my neck you know and that's i guess that's why i felt like i'm choking mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah 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 and then and it was just coming out, coming out, coming out. And I felt that it stuck here, just like between the bone, you know, like be, like underneath this bone, you know, it just stuck and it couldn't come out, you know. And I was just like, I was trying to push it. It was trying to go, to go out, to go out, but like I couldn't. Then I asked you to stop, to stop the session. And I thought like, and you also thought, I guess, that it didn't go out, but somehow later on I realized that it went out like I didn't even need the proof of it I just felt that it was not there anymore I mean yeah, at least a big I, part of it you know yeah I wasn't sure I certainly wasn't sure if if everything had been released I mean if, if if the whole thing had been released it's very normal that some people feel that when it reaches the neck that um, it, it's kind of getting stuck at that point and then it's possible to then just kind of keep it coming up and keep it moving and to just release it there but yeah you said to me that you 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 didn't think that it, it wanted that it, it would come out you know you, you said that you thought that it was stuck um it, it, but, it was but then stuck, afterwards yeah. yeah and then afterwards afterwards i just realized that it came out it did came out and i realized it not even at this same exact moment you know maybe later on like day after Two days yeah. after I realized that it was not just there I guess yeah with you it was because it was such an in, uh, intense experience just releasing all of that stored whatever stuff <laughs> crap stuff. <laughs> out yeah that, that yeah that that was enough when you went back to the younger self though afterwards um did you did you did you go back to a memory did you see yourself when you went back to your younger self yeah yeah yeah, I did. Yeah, it was also. I mean, I did. I know the. I, yeah, I know exact the moment in my past. So I like in my past life when I was young. So I came back to exactly that moment. I did. Yeah. And then you went and you hugged yourself, and uh, it did. Did it feel real that you were hugging yourself back in that time? I did feel it. I did feel it. It was exactly that. It was warm. You know, it was the feeling, you know, I felt it emotionally. I started crying, you know, but, but I still like, I wasn't that deep, you know, like that, that hundred percent deep inside. I think it was just like enough for me for the one session. And yeah. The idea was to go back to that, to kind of finishing it, finish it finishing it off with a bit of kind of giving yourself a bit of self-love after that 
after that intense um, kind of releasing of the negativity. So, but yeah, it's different for different people. And if you felt that that would have been enough, it was certainly a big change anyway, because even yeah. afterwards, the friend that was with you at the hostel said he could see a change in you straight away. Yeah, he was just straight away. I mean, even my sister, you know, like she said that like, yeah, even your face become like <laughs> different color, whatsoever, like a cleaner, you know, I don't know. Like she said like this, it was, I mean, I'm happy. I feel change. I like, I feel difference inside of myself. It's more easy, you know, just, just to be, just to wake up without these worries, you know? Right. And yeah. And um, what would you say then to somebody who is uh, thinking about trying hypnotherapy, just thinking about <laughs> trying hypnosis? Um, what would your advice be to them? Well, I would definitely try it because there is nothing bad that then can happen, definitely. Um, that it's not like like a coding you know something because at the beginning i was worried you know i've heard this that like one can be coded like again like if you want to skip sugar or smoking drugs yeah if you have bigger problem with the drugs and cigarettes and alcohol you should definitely try but emotional cleaning you know is something that could never harm you and it just like you know get rid of this this balance in yourself like this brings you back you know to this to your initial yourself I would say like this I think yeah a lot of people I guess feel the um, need this but maybe not mm, not many of them like can agree that they have this um, need you know to be clean energetically i don't know how to explain it i'm, I'm not prepared today i'm sorry I should no no it's absolutely <laughs> i totally know what you mean like so okay well if somebody i don't know what you've read about hypnosis but yeah when you go into this uh, uh into this state mm -hmm. then we can reprogram right we can we can change the flavor of old behaviors mm -hmm. and we can change those behaviors so that they're different okay so the way that I do it and the way that I believe it should be done is that the the other person so the client you the other person mm -hmm. they work with themselves to change those behaviors I just guide them to do that but you're right still it's reprogram it's changing the beha behaviors with the emotional cleaning as you said, you just release whatever it is that you need to release. And like yeah. you said, you know, it can't really be bad for you because you're just releasing whatever it is you need to release. What I totally agree with you is that many people out there, you know, perhaps don't think that they need it. But then afterwards, everybody that I've done a session with afterwards like they say, okay, I also thought that maybe I don't relieved. need it, you know, I can handle myself, what I cannot handle a bad emotions and irritation, you know, I thought that I can, I can do it myself. And I was like, at the beginning, I, I have to be honest, I was a bit skeptical at that night. And I was just thinking, should I do it? Or should I not do it? You know, like, I mean, I'm strong, I can do it myself, I can, but, but it could, have taken years when not the whole life, you know, to work out, to work out the self issues, you know, but I, yeah, after that, I realized that was the right deed for me, you know, that I, yeah, I just regret that I couldn't stay there for a longer time. You know? yeah. yeah. And yeah. what, what I want to add, what I want to mention is that it's also a good possibility to ask yourself the question, you know, and answer this question yourself like if you're confused you don't know how to do normally people ask someone you know but someone is not you so another person cannot answer you what is better for you to do or how better to like it's always better to ask yourself and the answers are in ourselves that the problem is that we many times we cannot hear ourselves and um, i guess hypnosis is to um one of the best tools to uh, to get these answers from yourself, you know, and it would be the best, like it would, it's just the best, you know.
because no one um, know better what to do than yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no one knows better what to do than yourself. And, um, you know, also there's, you can go to, to you can do self-help or going to, to a therapist or, or a counselor or someone like this. And it's really good. I'm not saying that that's not a bad thing. I, I fixed my own problems before I found hypnosis through meditation. That's a, a form of self-help. But, um, but it takes years. And, uh, and when you do an emotional cleaning, for example, you don't need to know every single detail about why you felt like this and where it all came from. When you go into that deep state and you allow yourself to just let it go, you can release it all within an hour and you don't even need to know where it all came from. You know, it takes out that need to go into the thinking mind and find out every single detail and analyze everything. And that's what I think is the miracle of um, yeah. hypnotherapy and also emotional cleaning is like you do the work, you release what you need to release and you don't need to understand every single detail. You just let it all out. I just have one question. Is it possible to get rid of deep, deep depression like with uh, hypnosis absolutely yeah, absolutely. absolutely because yeah. as i say it like last year i had i had this panic attack you know and i went to doctor and it was not even um it was just a house art house doctor i don't know how you call it in english um, just a uh, normal a, doctor a gp we, in, in british english we call it a gp general a GP, practitioner general practitioner yeah so he saw that i was just like shaking and crying i couldn't do anything so the first thing that he did he just gave me the medication you know antidepressants and he said like yeah like he wrote me like some paper you can go to psychologist whatever you, you can go like if you find the, the the doctor however it's gonna take you many months you know to be in the line so yeah and he just gave me antidepressants you know and I was thinking and I asked him how long do I have to take them because I was like you know I was like <laughs> you know I was just crying couldn't say anything and he said like you have most probably very deep and long-term depression so it can be like even more than one year as I tried to describe my problems and stuff like this so and I was thinking just the normal doctor gives me antidepressants and tells me that I have to take them maybe the whole my life mm. I try one pill, I tried another one, and it was such a bad experience for me. You know, I was just like in the state, like, you know, when you don't want anything, you're not in a deep hole, but you're not excited. You're just in a gray state like this, you know? And I felt it so bad. And I was thinking like, why do they give this, like, what I want, what was the point of what I'm saying? You know, I just lost the point, I'm sorry. And I was thinking, is it not better to do a, like a therapy sessions and to get rid of the depression rather than to take the medication for all your life and like to cope then with the consequences of it? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, well, we're getting into controversial topics, but yeah, personally, I don't think that uh, meditate, uh, sorry, medication is the, 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 the first uh, go-to solution for depression. Um, yeah, so well, so, well, let's talk about hypnotherapy first. So in a hypnotherapy session, yeah, you clear out any negative images, feelings with me, with the emotional cleaning, you mm -hmm. clear out any of that emotion. And then when you do that so it was with you we talked about it it was one big thing but with other people there might be one particular image one particular event or one particular mm -hmm. uh situation that that comes up that's very vivid that's very clear if it's something like this then absolutely we can go back to that event and we can change the flavor of that event that's one way that we can do it. Another way to do it is that I can take the person back to significant memories in their past, mm -hmm. in this life, go back to, uh, to significant memories in their past. Sometimes even you can even go back to memories in, in previous lives 
And then it doesn't matter whether that's just imagination and fantasy, it's just your subconscious creating imagination or whether that's actually real and there are previous lives. Your subconscious, you can go back to these, these moments and these memories. You can find uh, events in your life or in your past life that, is, that, that, that have triggered off um, certain emotions, certain feelings, change the flavor of them mm -hmm. so they don't feel the same and then come back and then anxiety depression and and uh, different so you want to say like that, that so you want to say that it can be not that it, there is a possibility that these feelings we have not from this life but it can can be also from the past life like so all this crap is going from life to life it depends on your point of view so mm -hmm. without me going into my own personal point of view some people would argue that when you go into a past life that what you're doing is it's just your subconscious creating um, a kind of a dream situation using your imagination to create scenarios mm -hmm. for things that are stuck inside you Other people would argue that you actually do, that we have our, our, our consciousness and within our consciousness, we are going through different lifetimes. And so we actually do go back to past memories, mm -hmm. real past memories. But either way, you go back to that experience, you find out what lessons to be, are, are to be learned, you fix any, any issues with that memory, come back again, and then the condition is relieved so it, it works you know we're working from 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 deep inside and what we're doing is we are i as 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 the hypnotherapist it's called content free i i let you take me where you need to go and um and then you you see what comes up For example, yeah, someone can come into a session and they can say that I'm suffering from a, a depression because of this particular event. But then when we do the session, it could be something completely different that comes up. Okay. It might be a completely different memory. It could be a completely different... Um, um, it, it, they, they might find when they do the emotional cleaning, it's not even sadness that comes up. It could be anger, for example. Mm -hmm. And then when, we, when we, we do something with the anger and we relieve the anger, then the depression is relieved. So, um, or, or, or they might think, okay, it's this particular event, but then when they do the emotional cleaning or when they go back to past memories and they're seeing a different event, we change, we change that event, the flavor of that event, and then the depression goes away. So mm -hmm. it's, it's not always what we think it is, But then when we go into this deep hypnotic state, into the subconscious, then the real issues within come up and then we can um, make changes to, to things uh, yeah. based on what comes up. So, so this is why, you know, with therapy um, and counseling and things like this, and there's nothing wrong with it, but You, when you're talking about all of these different events, you're trying with your mind to work out what it is exactly um, what's the problem. You know, you're, you're using your thinking brain to find out, we could say the left side of the brain, mm -hmm, the, the mm -hmm. logical intellectual side of the brain to figure it out. With uh, hypnosis, it's different. We're using the right side of the brain, the creative side of the brain to, to, to go inside and to find out what comes up from inside um you know what negativity from inside comes up rather than trying to figure it out with our heads does that make sense yeah it does make sense it does make sense yeah, yeah well that's very interesting you know yeah. i think it happened to me at the exactly time when i needed the most you know i don't think that it just happened somehow accidentally or just you know randomly i think it was the because even the thing that uh the friend of mine he booked a, uh, a hotel in another place you know in another part of the city and just a couple of days before it was canceled you know and we find the place here and in that hostel you know and i think that it was it was somehow on purpose you know because i also didn't want to go to portugal <laughs> you know but everything happened 
like it should be. And I guess it was the exactly moment when I needed the most, you know. Exactly. And you look much fresher. You look much, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know, <laughs> more lighter. <laughs> and yeah. Exactly. And what I want to add, you know, the, I told you that I'm like, I do some art stuff like painting and drawing, you know. And after the session, it was exactly after the session, we were like by the riverside, you know, sitting and, uh, you know, enjoying the sunlight and stuff like this. And I, I had, it just pop out from nowhere, like the painting that I want to do, you know, it never happened to me before because I was redrawing from some stuff, you know, I was like making, I was taking someone's, uh, someone already made painting or made picture, you know, was, just putting them together and making something, you know, more representable. But at this time, something like came to me and I saw the painting and it's my personal, you know, not uh, stolen or taken, like no idea taken from someone. It was, it's just my personal ideas, you know, and I'm just trying to realize it right now, just to make, <sighs> it's gonna take some time until I finish it. I haven't even started because it's still in my mind, but I guess, you know, it, um, I guess it's like a kind of byproduct, you know, from the session, a positive byproduct that, you know. Well, that's the thing. If you if you if you look at the different uh, interviews uh, or testimonial chats or however we're mm -hmm. going to call these that I'm doing on YouTube at the moment, different people are describing different things that have happened since the session and uh, things that have never happened to them before. Um, being in the live, feeling like they're living in the present moment for the first time, things happening in their lives. I mean, these things are real. These things are, are real experiences that these people are, ha are are experiencing. For you, for example, you 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 just said that you for the first time you just had a clear idea, a clear a clear image of of the type of picture or, or, or painting that yeah. you want to do. Drawing is it a drawing or a painting? It's a big painting I want to do. Yeah, so these things are real. So we can, I have ideas, I have um, ideas about, about how all of this works, but basically it's not only ideas, like I, I, I base it all on, 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 on evidence, but, you know, scientific uh, uh, studies and things like this. But, mm -hmm. but, but nevertheless, we go into this subconscious, we go into this state and, and we clear things out, things become clearer and we feel better. And this is a reality, you know, it's a real thing. Yeah, I mean, th this is something, it was something amazing that happened to me because as I say, like, you know, first of all, you feel bad, like you feel better, you feel lighter. Even exactly after session, I felt like I don't even wait as much as I wait. You know, I felt like it was so many, so many things went out from me that even my body become lighter, you know, somehow, you know, um, physically, maybe not, but at least you have a feeling like this, you know, yeah. and yeah. it's much better. Like, and this idea that came to me with the painting, I never experienced something like this. I had such a strong desire and I was just regretting that I have had no tools with me, you know, otherwise I would start doing it exactly at that moment. You know, yeah. I mean, as I say, I never had something in my life, never experienced this kind of feeling like an emotion I don't know it's not the feeling like this is the state you are in you know and yeah it was one of the best things maybe in my life you know I'm not joking <laughs> you know something that I never felt you know maybe when you fall in love no but it's totally different <laughs> you know you cannot compare but yeah all right well with that fantastic final comment we'll stop mm -hmm. there because um yeah Obviously, it's helped you a lot. I'm super happy that the, um, you know, the, 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 the change that's happened in your life. Um, so this video is for people that might be interested or let's say, hopefully are interested in trying hypnosis with me. Please just go to robito.info and you can find my email and my WhatsApp and send me a message. Thank you very much for having a chat with me. And um, yeah, I'm I'll, I'll continue to just have a little bit of a chat with you now before we finish. I'm just going to stop the recording now, but thank you okay. very much. You're welcome. Okay. All right.